I'm James Rapine of AllBengals.com. We have some breaking news. According to Ian Rappaport of NFL Network, the Bengals will officially place the franchise tag on wide receiver T. Higgins. This isn't a surprise, and it's something that we expected, but he is the first player to get tagged. Now, the Bengals haven't officially announced this news, but that could happen at any point in the foreseeable future. But what we do know, according to Ian Rappaport, is that the Bengals let Higgins' party know, whether it's his agent, his entire uh, side of things, let them know that he will be tagged. What does it mean? Well, it means T. Higgins is about to make a lot of money in 2024. Regardless of long-term extension talks, he is guaranteed $21.8 million. The numbers came out on Friday ahead of the new league year, and the salary cap, well, it's higher than projected as well at $255.4 million for all 32 NFL teams, which makes this salary cap hit much easier to swallow if you're the Bengals. Because if they don't sign T. Higgins to a long-term extension, and now that they're tagging him, they'll have until July to do so. He won't become a free agent. The Jaguars, the Browns, all these teams that were hoping T. Higgins was going to hit free agency, well, he's not going to. So sorry about your luck. But if you're the Bengals, you you can still negotiate a long-term extension with him. But if not, it's $21.8 million of cap space that you're using on T. Higgins from the jump before free agency begins, before you start to address right tack or defensive tack or anything like that. So looking at it, it would be ideal that the Bengals could find a way to get a long-term extension done with a 25-year-old wide receiver, with a wide receiver that, yeah, he missed some games this past year, but he's flashed and not just flashed as a rookie, but over the past couple of years shown how dominant he could be, even with Jamar Chase out, he showed that he could be a number one wide receiver, and he's been a 1A in this offense. So I think the Bengals do want to keep him long-term and, and sign him to an extension. That's something that we talked about in an earlier video on, on Friday afternoon, Tony Pauling's report about the Bengals hoping to get a long-term deal done. I think the fact that they franchise tagged him now, that they let his people know now that they're going to tag him, shows their desire to speed this process up and say, all right, we're definitely tagging you. Now let's work on a long-term deal. You're not going to get to free agency. Let's cut the crap. You know, the negotiating tactics or or anything like that. By the way, I'm not saying that Higgins' people are are doing something crazy. They just want a long-term deal for their client. But if you're the Bengals, the only reason you do this now and you let Higgins know now ahead of the combine is so you can focus on a long-term deal because now the rest of the league knows it. And so he's tagged. I'm sure there will be teams that reach out and say, hey, can we trade for tag T. Higgins? I think the Bengals want to keep him long term. So if there was a time to agree to a trade, it would be before free agency begins, before the new league year begins in a couple of weeks. At the same time, I expect the Bengals to keep T. Higgins on the roster. I expect them to play him on the tag if they can't get a long term deal done. So this is why you need to have those notifications on every single video besides this one. I say subscribe, join the 42,000 plus, ring the bell because of this. This is the time of year where things break. Friday night, you're just getting nestled in or maybe you're going out. Who knows? Well, T. Higgins, franchise tagged, will make $21.8 million in the Bengals. Well, they're still going to have a significant amount of cap space, even with rookie contracts and all of those things. And with this tag with T. Higgins, they have money to throw out there in free agency, especially with the $255 million salary cap set. The Bengals, they're going to be able to play ball with free agents. And while 31 other teams that want T. Higgins, they're going to have to try to trade for him if they want him. I think those trades will be shot down, but maybe the Bengals will listen at least a little bit. I expect them to. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. And for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine. Today, it's a good day because T. Higgins is in Cincinnati for the 2024 season, barring something really unforeseen, which is what we expected, but it is now official according to Ian Rappaport. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and until next time, for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine. Thank you so much for watching Cincinnati Bengals Talk.